Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. Today I'm going to show you an omelet and that too Chinese style. And this is noodles omelet. To make this noodle omelet, first we need the noodles. What I usually do is when I make noodles boil little bit extra noodles and I keep aside so that I can make a nice noodle omelette you know after two days also your noodles will be nice no need to worry you can just refrigerate in the fridge and you can use it after two days also this noodles so this I'm going to keep aside today I'm using different kinds of vegetables if you want you can use whichever vegetable is available in your fridge and make this excellent noodle omelette so today I'm using some capsicum so just mix it in a bowl first capsicum some carrots you can use zucchini you can use cabbage Chinese cabbage anything whichever is available you can just use it and today I'm using some red cabbage and some onions all you know I cut it into lengths if you want you can chop it also but when we are making noodle omelet our noodles are like you know strings so I love to cut our vegetable into lengths and also some spring onion and in this some green chilies and some pepper powder if you are giving for kids you can just skip the green chilies and you can just add little bit of pepper powder and some chili sauce and also dear friends add some salt in the last we are just going to mix this first so friends here I have mixed it nicely and this we are going to keep aside and now we are going to break open eggs so today I am using two eggs you know two eggs are sufficient for four people because we are adding noodles we are adding vegetables and the eggs so I can tell this is a nice and healthy breakfast four people can have it easily so here are the eggs we are going to beat this first if you want you can add some salt or you know pepper powder anything if you want you can just add it in this but you know I already added pepper powder and salt in the vegetables so I'm not adding anything else and even while boiling the noodles also I added salt so be careful don't add too much and then you know you say I have added too much of salt so dear friends here the eggs you know I have nicely mixed it and you know and this is ready and also the vegetables and the noodles so here is the pan in this we are going to add some oil if you want you can make it with butter also just add some two spoons of oil and just spread this oil into this pan and that's it once the oil is hot then we are going to first add the noodles the oil is little bit hot don't make it too much hot and now we are going to put this noodles just little bit of noodles and you can just spread it why I'm adding this in the oil because we get little bit of crispiness and now the eggs I'm going to add it in this vegetables if you want you can add the vegetables directly and you know pour the eggs on top of it whichever way you want you can make it just mix it once and now pour it on top of this if you want you can reduce the vegetables I want lot of vegetables so I added more of vegetables just spread it little bit and reduce the temperature everything is ready if you want you can just cover it with a lid and just cook it in very slow flame for one or two minutes and then we are going to flip it to the other side so dear friends after two minutes of slow cooking you know why I'm saying slow cooking because the vegetables are there on top of it so I want the vegetables to be cooked and even the omelet so here is our noodles omelet if you want you can flip it over or otherwise you can just have it like this my husband love like this because he don't want the omelet to be overcooked so if you want you can just you know remove it from the pan and serve it like this or otherwise you can just flip it to the other side very carefully see isn't it yummy yummy and just for a minute and then we are going to serve it 
So dear friends, just after one minute, that's it. Don't cook too much, otherwise your vegetables will become black. So this is done. I have just switched off the flame and just transfer it onto a plate. And in the same pan, what you can do is just take some bread slice. If you want, you can just switch on the flame. You know, whatever the oil is there in this pan, this will stick to your bread. See this very, very colorful noodle omelette. Isn't it very, very yummy? Here are bread slices also. Got little bit color and just transfer it onto a plate and switch off the flame. And now it's ready to have it. So what you can do is just take a knife as I told you this omelette we can have four people can have just cut it into four halves and what you can do is see the omelette here the noodle omelette down you have the noodles and in between you have the vegetables on top also you have the vegetables and if you want you can just see little bit of crispy noodles down and in between you have little bit soft and on the top you have colorful vegetables isn't it very very yummy and i'm telling you dear friends once you have this omelette this tastes even more better so just enjoy this with the bread slice if you want you can just put some tomato ketchup in between or you can give some lettuce in between and little bit crispy crispy in the last and crunchy crunchy vegetables and the omelette is cooked perfectly so dear friends i hope you enjoyed this very very simple noodle omelette i'm sure you're going to try this and you're going to enjoy with your family